Every time I go to Nassau Coliseum, I look up into the rafters and I see all the retired numbers. And it kills me. It really kills me that my childhood hero, Pat LaFontaine's number 16, is not hanging in the rafters. It, it really bothers me. And it really pisses me off that I look up at the banner commemorating you know, the Islanders Hall of Famers. And I don't see his name on there. And that's really troublesome for us Islander fans. It shouldn't be that way. Pat LaFontaine meant so much to this organization. I mean, when I was a little kid, I always pretended to be him. And I'm sure a lot of other Islander fans did the same. And it's pathetic that he's nowhere to be found in the Coliseum. Nowhere. I mean, they did a yearbook a couple years ago commemorating the 40th anniversary of the team. And they couldn't even put a picture of him anywhere near the yearbook. I mean, they had a cover of 40 Islanders from the past 40 years. And Pat LaFontaine's picture was nowhere to be found. And I know he had a falling out with the owner. And it pisses me off because he was just sticking up for the good of the team. He wanted to see the Islanders succeed. He was sticking up for what he believed in. And that's, it's, it's horrible the way they treated him. It's absolutely horrible. You know, there's no pictures of him in the Coliseum. There's nothing. And you know it's sad that he's in the Hockey Hall of Fame. He can't even get into the Islanders Hall of Fame. I mean, it's sad. It, it's pathetic. And it's pathetic that you know his number deserves to be retired in Buffalo, but we can't even retire his number. It's sad and pathetic, and I feel bad for Pat. And he's a great guy, and he's so charitable, and I just feel bad because he's treated this way. And he, all he was doing was looking out for the good of the organization. He didn't want a quick move, you know, firing a GM after a couple months on the job. And it's sad that, you know, his sticking up for the good of the New York Islanders and the good of the organization, you know, gets him banned. I mean, he's, he's banned. I mean, it's ridiculous. And it makes me sad because I would love, love for one day to honor him and have his 16 hanging up in the rafters. And... It's sad. It's just too sad. Pat LaFontaine deserves better. He really does. And whatever, whatever happened with the team, it's about us, the fans, too. You know, we deserve it. Islander fans deserve to see Pat LaFontaine's number 16 hanging in the rafters. And unfortunately, it probably will never happen. And it's sad for us because he was our one shining light, you know, in some tough times. And they made the playoffs. And he came in a year after they won all their cups. And the Easter epic and all these great memories of Pat LaFontaine are nothing. They, they don't care, the Islanders, and it's sad because he did mean so much to the organization and to the memories of us Islander fans. And we respect him, and it's just sad. Really sad.